Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and in this video we will be taking a look at basic zone-based firewalls on Cisco routers using the Cisco Security Device Manager, or it's better known as the SDM. Uh, we have a pretty simple topology here. We have uh, a cloud or my laptop, which will be uh, the loopback interface, and that is what we will use to connect to the SDM. This is also where I'm running GNS3 and these virtual routers. So we have router 1 which my laptop is connected to and we have the Fast Ethernet 01 interface with the IP listed here as well as the Fast Ethernet 00 interface with the IP address that is shown here in the diagram. And we also have uh, routers 2 and 3 if you look at the interfaces and the IP addresses, we can see that some of the interfaces are red and some are blue. Essentially, the red uh, text here, the interfaces and IPs, are the untrusted IPs and interfaces, and the blue uh, ones are trusted. So anything from this side of the network and over, this is trusted, and all of this is untrusted. So when we go through the wizard, we will see uh, an option to select which interface we would like to have as the uh, the inside or trusted interface and the outward facing or untrusted interface. I will be running EIGRP as the routing protocol so that all of the devices can talk to each other and have connectivity. So we are running an autonomous system 10 and we will be advertising the uh, networks listed here. Currently router 2 and 3 are configured and ready to go so we will get into router 1 configure the interfaces and IP addresses as well as create a local uh, user database so that we can access the device using the SDM and we'll also test connectivity uh, to make sure everything is in order before we get too deep into the configuration. I will bring up router 1 here and go ahead and hit enter. I do have an enable password set to Cisco all lowercase. I will go into the config terminal mode and we'll just start by uh, configuring the Fast Ethernet 01 interface. So we will go into the Fast Ethernet 01 and assign the IP address of 172.16.1.1 with the 24-bit mask and we'll go ahead and do a no, no shut on that to bring that interface up we will next go into the fast ethernet 00 interface and assign the IP address listed on the topology there hard code the speed and duplex do a show IP interface brief and we can see that both interfaces are up so I should be able to ping my laptop which is the 172.16.1.10 if you are issuing a command from config terminal mode some iOS's support the do command uh, which will force the following text here to be executed. You can see I, I didn't type do ping right here and it didn't recognize the command. So if I do uh, enter the do function right here, it will allow that command to go through. So we have those interfaces configured. Now I will set up 